Welcome back, Math Grizz. Today, we will find equivalent fractions. To find equivalent fractions, you can multiply the numerator and denominator of a fraction by the same number. Let's try 3 fourths. Let's create a model for 3 fourths. 1, 2, 3 out of 4 makes 3 fourths. Now let's find an equivalent fraction for 3 fourths. Remember, we can multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number. Let's try two. Let's multiply the numerator by two and the denominator by two. Let's create a model of this. We have three fourths and we need to make two times as many numerators and two times as many denominators. So let's visualize this. Two times as many. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Our denominator will be eight. Let's count the shaded parts. One, two, three, four, five, six. The numerator will be six. Six eighths is equivalent to three fourths. And we know that three times two is six and four times two is eight. Let's find another equivalent fraction for three fourths. This time let's multiply the numerator by three and the denominator by three. Let's make a model, three fourths. Let's make three times as many numerators and three times as many denominators. One, two, three. Let's count all the equal parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. The denominator will be 12. Let's count how many are shaded in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine twelfths is equivalent to three fourths. Let's multiply straight across. Three times three is nine. Four times three is 12. Let's find one more equivalent fraction to three fourths. This time we can multiply the numerator by four and the denominator by four. Let's make three fourths and let's make four times as many numerators and denominators. One, two, three, four. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. The denominator will be 16. Let's count how many are shaded in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 sixteenths is equivalent to three fourths. It has the same value as three fourths. And we know that three times four is 12. Four times four is 16. So three fourths is equivalent to six eighths, nine twelfths, and 12 sixteenths. Remember, we can take any fraction and multiply the numerator and denominator by any number, same number, and we will find equivalent fractions. That means these hold the same value. They are equivalent. One half. Here is a model of a half. Let's find equivalent fractions to one half. Let's multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number. Let's try times two. Let's create a model. We have a half and let's multiply by two, two times as many. Let's count one, two, three, four. The denominator will be four. Let's count how many are shaded in. One, two, two fourths. One times two is two and two times two is four. One half is equivalent to two fourths. They hold the same value. One half, let's multiply the numerator and denominator by three. Let's take a look at a model. Half, and let's multiply the numerator and denominator by three. One, two, three. Let's count all the equal parts. One, two, three, four, five, six. The denominator will be six. Let's count how many are shaded. One, two, three. Three, six. So we know that one half is equivalent to three, six. They hold the same value. Let's try one more. Half times four for the numerator and the denominator. Let's create a visual. We have a half and let's make four times as many numerators and denominators. One, two, three, four. Let's count them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The denominator will be eight and the numerator will be one, two, three, four, four eighths. So one half times four on the top and four on the bottom makes four eighths. One half is equivalent to four eighths. And remember, one times four is four, two times four is eight. All of these fractions hold the same value, so they are equivalent. One third. Let's find equivalent fractions for one third. Let's multiply the numerator and denominator by two. We have one third 
Let's make two times as many. Let's count them all. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many are shaded? Two. So we have two sixths is the same or equivalent to a third. Let's try a third times three on the top and three on the bottom. A third, three times as many. Let's count them all. Three, six, nine. The denominator is nine and three are shaded. So three ninths is equivalent to one third. They hold the same value. One third times four. Let's make a third and four times as many. We have four shaded. Four plus four plus four is 12. So four twelfths. One times four is four. Three times four is 12. So if we multiply one third by the same number on the top and the bottom, we can find equivalent fractions. One third is equivalent to two sixths. One third is equivalent to three ninths. And one third is equivalent to four twelfths. They hold the same value. So remember, you can take any fraction and multiply the numerator and denominator by the same number, any number, and multiply straight across. Two times three is six, five times three is 15, and they are equivalent or equal in value. One, two, three, four, five, two are shaded, is the same thing or equal to or equivalent to six fifteenths. One, two, three, four, five, six, and let's count them all, 12, 13, 14, 15. Let's say this together, two fifths is equivalent or equal in value to six fifteenths. <laughs>